I know she looked like she wife material, bro, but she belonged to the streets. I know she acted nice, but she belongs to the streets. I know she educated, but she belonged to the streets. A lot of women are belong to the streets, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women look innocent, but they belong to the streets. Most women that belong to the streets, they never been in a long-term relationship. They always say they just had flings. They had flings. And they always play victim on why the relationship didn't last. Most of the women nowadays belong to the streets. Whether they in church, whether they in college, they belong to the streets, man. And nobody's never too good for them. They always moving on to the next man, skipping on to the next hand bone. They skip from one hand bone to the next in a short period of time. They purposely find fault with a man just so they can justify themselves to skip to another hand bone. You know, you know what a hand bone is. D D D D. So watch out for the women that belong to the streets. A lot of you guys right now are married to women that belong to the streets. A lot of my clients that complain about men, my female clients that complain, complain about men belong to the streets. You know, I mean, Jesus Christ can help them. But as of now, they belong to the streets. You know, you got to watch out and not try to save women that belong to the streets. They always said they dated big names guys that was popular that owned businesses they might name nba players football players actors businessmen club owners singers they're gonna say they dated them but a lot of, you know they just had sex with the guys most of them guys got girlfriends and wives that don't look good as them a lot of women that belong to the streets they look really good not all of them some girls belong to the streets and they look like pork chop sandwiches. But most of the women that belong to the streets, they always feel like they can do better and they always bring their, when they want to get a man attention, they always bringing their, you know, flirting and bringing their booty and beauty to the table. That's what they got to offer, their booty and beauty. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the, you know, subscribe to me on YouTube. Hit the bell, hit the like. Don't forget to share this video as well. Uh, or send it to somebody you know that need to hear it. Send it to your face, social media or whatever you want to do. Don't forget to do that. But these women that belong to the streets, they're not always ghetto. Some of them got PhDs, master degrees. Some of them look innocent. Some of them don't dress freaky. Some of them don't look like sluts, dots, or none of that. But they belong to the streets. They got a lot of male friends that they had sex with. They have no emotion. They don't get attached to guys. They, they get attached to challenges. A man that's married. A man that's, in a, that's not paying them attention. A man that has a girlfriend. A man that's getting a lot of attention. They want to see if they can get his attention for a short period of time or a long period of time. That's their goal. They, get, they thrive off getting somebody who not look, getting a man that's not looking at them to get him to look at them. So, you know, they, all, they have a lot of male friends. They constantly, they'll even try to introduce you to, they'll even try to introduce you to um, a lot of male friends. They, they're friends. You know, they they very open a lot of times. They're not sneaky. They'll tell you what you want to know. But they belong to the streets. And they find you interesting if you happen to be a, good guy that been, you know, blue pill, that want a relationship, that want to do the right thing, you've been groomed all your life to respect women, put them on a pedestal, they find that interesting because they know they, they, they are opposite of what you've been groomed, how you've been groomed to treat women. They've been opposite of that. They are, they are opposite of that. So they always play victim while they're not in a relationship with a guy, you know. Oh, he, he, he did this. He didn't. He was intimidated by my degrees. He was intimidated by my educational achievements. So you got to understand, guys, that don't get so full. A lot of you guys, you you blow up these women Instagrams because they got nice bodies and stuff like that. So when you meet girls that look like this in person, 
your, 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 you can't control yourself. So you end up automatically thinking she's the one. And when you actually happen to ha have sex with one of them because you've been working hard, you got a nice new house, nice new truck. You've been working real hard, real, real hard, doing extra hours and everything. You started wanting her to be yours. Hey, are you a tax or accounting professional and you're tired of working the long hours during tax season and getting... And she might temporarily be yours or at least give you the title. Her body might be going other places. Other guys might be using her body like you're using her body. But you get to use the title. Some of you guys are content with the title. You know she's sleeping around with guys that are job. Most girls that belong to the streets, that's edu educated, they sleep with guys at their job. If they're working for the government or have a, a decent job, they get like an hour or more break. Their break is an hour or hour and a half break, sometimes longer. There's plenty of time to get the rent out of the hotel and go in that hotel and do all kinds of stuff. So girls, these women, these women don't cheat. These women that belong to the streets don't cheat. They don't cheat on after hours. They cheat on the clock. They cheat while they're at the job. They cheat like that. It don't take long to cheat. They cheat while they, while they at the gym with their trainer. So many of my training buddies be having sex with so many women. They have sex with so many women. You know what I'm saying? And um, they got boyfriends. They got husbands. These women are very smart. They don't get caught often. They know how you look at them. They know how you think. They know how you view them. Women do not get caught. Don't forget to press that like. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. But these women that belong to the streets, they know how men think. Especially the man that they dealing with or claiming or that they see often. They study him. And most of the time they train him not to think negative of them. And if you think negative of them, they play victim or shame you. Why? Are you insecure? Have your heart been broken before? Well, why are you going to ask me these questions about that? Why are you concerned about this? Why are you uh, accusing me of doing something with another man you know I don't know how much long I can take this so they'll make you skid most of the guys that deal with women that for long term women that belong to the streets most of them guys are scared to lose them because of sex so they attach to these women because of sex these guys got good jobs they're attractive and a lot of them fall for girls that's in the streets the only guys that know that they are in the streets are the guys that already got girlfriends and wives that don't look nowhere near as good as the girls that belong to the streets. Girls that belong to the streets look very good. We often label them as dime pieces. Even if they have money, we can also label them as groupies, attention seekers, and sometimes gold diggers because they, the gold is not always the money it's the attention. It's the fact that they deal, They feel like they're dealing with somebody that other women want or desire. What they call it? SMV, sexual market value. They're dealing with a guy with a high sexual market value. So they just want to do that. It's not always, I want his money. I want his house. I want vacation money. I want clothes and Prada and Louis Vuitton and Jimmy Choo. You know, it's about the attention. It's about your soul. These women are possessed. Women that belong to the streets are possessed. They deal with a lot of guys and they seek the soul of these guys. They want these guys' mind, will, and emotions. This is how you make sure she never cheats on you. Women don't really... I'm telling you right now, do not claim these girls. Do not get attached. They look very good. They got a cute smile, an innocent smile. 
They smell good. They got the perfect body shapes like hourglass. They bow leg. Smooth skin. They short. They tall. They dark skin. They light skin. They come in many forms and fashions. But if you take them seriously, your life will be ruined. <laughs> your life will be ruined. And you'll regret it. And you definitely don't want to get a girl pregnant that belong to the streets. It's hard to find a girl that don't belong to the streets nowadays. A, a female, woman, whatever you want to call it, they, it's hard to find a virtuous woman nowadays. Most of the women nowadays belong to the streets and they're going to continue belonging to the streets. Don't forget to press that like, subscribe, or follow. If you're on Instagram, press follow. If you're on, if you're on YouTube, press subscribe. But uh, you guys out there, beware of women that belong to the streets. They can be celebrities. They can be church girls. They can be doctors, lawyers. They belong to the streets. They want to be around anybody with some prestige, some titles, doctors, business owners, supervisors, managers of different positions, investors, anybody that seems special. Ooh, they like to bring powerful names down. So a lot of men in power, they get, they fall from power, fall from glory because of women that belong to the streets. So you always see why all the top guys get into scandals and different stuff like that because they're dealing with good-looking women that look innocent that belong to the streets. So have your eyes open. Do not pay them any attention. I never knew it was something really out here that can actually make your dick a little bigger and your your dick thicker. I mean, I never, I just never could understand. I never could fathom something that really can do that. I've been eating this shit, man, from the store every day, and I just happen to like it. But I didn't realize that. I said, man, why the fuck is all it? My stomach getting flatter and unnecessary fat that I had on my body is disappearing and I noticed that my dick got longer and my dick got thicker. What the fuck going on here? I started thinking, what have I been doing different? Come to find out, it's that shit I've been eating. If you wanna know what I've been eating, message me, it's $20. Message me on Instagram at Allery in that show, all right? And I tell you, this shit is wild, man. Ali Brillion there, that's my guy, man. He's the truth. He wasn't lying, man. Like, really works. I ain't gonna put you on. You gotta do what I did to get on, but definitely gonna get them gains. You might have to tuck your jump off under your belt by your belly button because you're gonna be walking around with a heart on. <sighs> you wasn't lying, bro. Definitely works. Go check my man out, Ali Brillion there. One. Hey guys, I've been getting emails about uh, guys that took my hand bone remedy uh, that it's working for them as well. You know, I originally told you guys it was working for me, but it's working for guys from all over the world. So hurry up and message me on Instagram at Allerina Show if you want that remedy. It's good for your overall health as well, as well as your hand bone, your dick, so you can dick and grow and be strong and healthy, and you can please the woman you love. Allerina Show on Instagram.